So now we're going to go over 16-1 Envision Practice, and we're com converting uh, the customary measures. Now we're only going to be working on the length, so inches, feet, yards, miles. Remember our little rule is if it's a, a big unit of measurement to a small one, feet to inches, we're going to multiply. If it's a small unit of measurement to a bigger unit of measurement, inches to feet, I mean, not right feet. <laughs> Feet, I big. I did. Um, then we divide. Okay. So for the very first one is three and a half feet. Now I need to tell. I need you to tell me what you know. If you have one foot, that equals what? How many inches? Twelve inches. You know that, right? That's information you already know. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this is to feet. To inches. Now, since it's a bigger unit of measurement to a smaller unit, oh. unit, are we going multiply or divide? Multiply. Multiply, because it's bigger unit to a small unit it tells us to multiply. Now, are we multiply three and a half times one? No. 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 What are we multiplying? Three and, a half times 12. three and a half times twelve. So, over to the side, I can multiply it. All right. What's five times two? Ten. 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 my one. What's five times one? Plus one. Cross him out. Cross his friends out. Give him a zero. Was three times two? Six. Was three times one? Three. Now, I have a decimal though, don't I? Yeah. Count the decimal out. Count it back in. Forty-two. Forty-two is the answer. Forty-two what? Inches. Inches. Awesome. Damien, you good, sweetie? Because I can't see what you're doing. Did you get this right? Okay. All right, next one, number two. 17 yards, converting it to feet. So we're going yards to feet. Which one is the bigger one? Yards, yards is bigger. Feet is smaller, so big to small. If we're going big to small, then we multiply also. All right, what do we know about yards and feet? Three, there's three feet in a yard. That's right. So it's, seven, so it's 17 times three. So it's going to be, so we're going to take that 17, multiply it by three. And you get 51. Yeah. 51? Yes. That's what I thought. 51 feet. feet. Good. 51 feet. Awesome. I have 51. All right, number four. So for number four, we know how many feet are in a mile. Five thousand. Five thousand. Eighty. Now, which one's bigger, miles or feet? Miles. Miles, miles. right? So you multiply five. That's right. Two hundred and eighty. So four. that's right. We're gonna multiply. So what's five thousand two hundred eighty times four? Forty-one thousand one hundred twenty. Is that right? Yes. Hey. Hmm. All right, number six, 72 inches in feet. So we know for a fact 12 inches equal one foot, okay? So, so inches and feet, which one's the bigger one here? Feet. Feet are bigger, inches are smaller. So we're going from small to big. If you go in small to big, then you do what? Divide. Then you divide. What do you divide in this one? 72 What's 72 divided by 12? Six. Awesome. Six what, guys? Six feet or two yards. Six feet. Oh, look at you. Six feet or two yards. Very good. All right. Number seven. We know that in one mile, that is how many yards? 1,775 feet. 760. What? What one is it? Is Look on the front. For yards. 1,760. Okay. Remember, we're looking at yards. All right. So, which one's bigger, miles or yards? Miles. miles. So, we're going big to small. Big to small tells us to do what? Multiply. All right. So, we're going three times. 1,760, which is what? 
5,280 what? Very good. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, next one. Okay, so you're saying feet smaller than yards. So we're going to divide. Thank you. And we know that in one foot, sorry, three feet are in one yard, correct? So 180 divided by three is what? 60 what? Yards. Yeah. Yards. Yards. Good. I got all of this correct except for the top one. That's okay. I forgot about the decimal. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Number 12. Now, this one is a little trick question for some people. And the trick word says go over. Okay? All right. Now, let's talk about it. Brian pole vaulted over a bar. That was 189 inches high. How many more inches would he need to vault to go over a bar that was 16 feet high? Now, why are you saying four, Piper? Because he needs three more inches. Okay. To get you that. Nice. There you go, Piper. You need at least one more inch high, right? So you need four. So how do we solve this? Well, we're going to convert. We're going from inches to feet. All right. Now, we know for a fact right now there's 189 inches. And we need to get to those feet, right? So, we're going to have to go small to big, and that tells us to divide. What are we dividing by? 12. Why are we dividing by 12? Because there are 12 inches and one foot. Exactly. So, if we were to solve this out, I'm going to do it on this side because I took up all the space over there. All right. 12 goes away nine. Let's solve it. So, right now we have 15 feet and nine inches. So, to get to 16 feet, we have to add three more inches. But that's not right, is it? We need to get over it. So, to get over it, add one more inch to get over, which is going to be 16 feet and at least one inch, right? At least to get over it. Because if we get to 16 feet, we're going to be, we'll hit the bar. We don't want to hit the bar. We want to go over the bar. Thank you, Piper. Very good. All right. Number 13. A paving, a paving company was hired to make four mile section of the highway. Okay. So it's four mile section of the highway how many yards of highway do they need to repave so we know it's four miles we're trying to figure out how many yards it is now we know that one mile equals how many yards 1,760. So we have miles to yards. Miles to yards. We're going what? Big to small. to small. That tells us to do what? Multiply. Tells us to multiply. So we're going to take 1,760, multiply it by 4. It's one of the answers. It's the answer to number 4. Is it? Not the answer to number 13, but... Yeah. All right. So, what is the answer when we do that? We multiply 1,760 times 4. 7,040. 7,040? Yes. Okay. So, it will be 7,040 yards to repave that highway.
All right, any questions?